Hi, I'm Tom Zelenka. Now, I'm just a beginner in the kitchen. In every episode of Carolina Cooking, I meet a different chef from a famous restaurant in the Carolinas Ooh. who'll teach me to cook their secret recipes mm. in just 30 minutes or less. Really good. Welcome to Carolina Cooking, shot on location at the mansion on Forsyth Park and the 700 Kitchen Cooking School. Now, here's your host, Tom Zelenka. Hi, welcome to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zelenka. Well, you have a party coming up and you need to feed 24. We have a gourmet recipe for you that'll do just that. Or if you just want to impress your family of four, we are making grilled pizzettas here. We're doing it with smoked salmon and caviar, and we're also doing it with smoked duck and olives and other assorted things here. This is the show where we bring the best chefs from the best restaurants all around North and South Carolina, and we bring them here to teach you and me how to make their incredible recipes. Today, our chef is Chef Boyer from Biltmore Estate. Chef, glad to have Tom, you here. Tom, thank you for having me. Pleasure to be here. All the way from Asheville, North Carolina. That's, That's where correct. they keep that Biltmore Estate. That's Just a, it's a little house, right? Yeah, it's a little house. I think uh, thousands and thousands of square footage. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's an incredible estate. We, uh, we raise a lot of these uh, the vegetables here oh, okay. uh, that we're serving today on the estate. Okay. Um, so we're, we'll, we're actually able to in, incorporate some of the ingredients that we actually grow on our estate. Now, these are pizzettas. So. And this one is smoked salmon with caviar. That's right. right smoked here. smoked little, salmon what's with... What's the uh, sprig on top? It's a little fresh dill. Okay. That's great. Alrighty. And on this one, we have smoked duck. This is smoked duck, <clears throat> excuse me, with uh, olive puree, arugula, heirloom tomatoes, goat cheese, and fresh basil. Alrighty. Well, let's get started. Do we start first with the uh, dough, or how do we how do we begin with our pizza? Well, I think we're going to start making the dough, so we can put those down. Okay. I'm going to put them up front and then, here. So the crew can reach forward and try to grab per something while we're perfect, while we're perfect. talking. Well, we're going to start in a mixer, okay. and then in our bowl with a dough, dough hook attachment to make our dough. Oh, okay. So then we're going to add our flour to the bowl. And oh, this is flour, just Th regular flour? Yes, sir. That's all-purpose flour. All-purpose flour. Okay, I can add that. Okay. Yep. Get it all in there. All right. And then we're going to add our garlic. Our garlic. We have minced garlic. Minced here. garlic. Okay. Just throw that in. Do you prefer fresh or can I use the one that comes in the jar? Well, you can use the, the one that uh, comes in the jar, but obviously nothing, you know, nothing's going to live up to a, a fresh product. So. Okay. All right. Add a little bit of sugar. A little sugar. Which one is the sugar here? This is the sugar right okay. here. Okay. All right. And so then, just a little bit? Yeah. Or all of this? All of it. Okay. All righty. Add all the salt. All the salt. And we have how much salt here? It's about a teaspoon. Okay. A teaspoon of salt. All righty. Okay. Then we want to... Put the mixer up. Okay, high. Well, 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 it's not up. You want to put oh. the bowl up first. Oh, I got you. I got you. Bowl See? up. That helps. Bowl up. Okay. And then low speed, so probably number two on this mixer. Number two. And then add add both our oils. We have a little bit of uh, salad oil. Salad oil. About two tablespoons, and then okay. a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Why are we using two different kinds of oil? Well, the the, the olive oil actually is going to help. Uh, get a nice firmness and crispness to the dough. Okay. But you don't actually want to add all, all the olive oil because it's actually going to make the, it'll, uh, make the dough a little bit bitter. Oh, Because olive oil can be a little bit bitter. Okay, so. all righty. So we're going to mix that up. Okay. Okay. And then the key here is to actually start mixing it so you can incorporate the salt before you add the yeast because the salt will actually kill the yeast oh, okay. if it comes in direct contact with the, with the salt. So okay. go ahead and add your, add your yeast at this point, dry yeast. This is just like one packet, one of those packets you buy at the store or is it a little more? That, well, it's probably a little bit more than one packet. I okay. think there's a couple of tablespoons. Okay. So just slowly add it in here? Yeah. Add that in. Go ahead and dump it in there. You're, you're good. Oh, okay. All and right. I didn't want to didn't kill it with the salt. No, you know? no, no, no. Okay. Well, as long as the salt is already mixed in there, I think you're okay. Okay. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we have a, a cup of warm water here and we want to slowly start adding our water. Okay. And just oh, we start with half, start slowly, slowly adding it until half of it's gone. And then the idea here is to mix the dough until the dough starts to pull away from the bowl. Okay. So All right. So mix that, let that mix real well. Okay. Can I crank it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, turn it up just a little bit. Hmm. Too much? No, you're, you're okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and add. A little bit more water. Because oh, all the uh, all all the flour is pulled away from the edge now. That's correct. Just slowly add it yep, in. Yep, slowly add it. Okay. Don't add all of it just yet. Okay. So now, now you can tell that the dough is starting to pull away a little bit. Yep. And as it mix, mixes a little bit more vigorously, uh, you want to kind of test the dough and see where it's at. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's still in the bowl. <laughs> so let's let's turn it off for a oh, second. All right. Lower it down. 
Oops, well, sorry. no, we want to, we want to, it's there. okay. We just want to feel the texture of the dough. Okay. You see, it's, it's not quite mixed all the way. It's still yep. a little, uh, the flour is not quite incorporated all the way. So let's put the bowl back up. So it's just, it's a little clumpy. It's a little, yeah, it's a little clumpy. You yeah. want it, you want a nice okay. smooth dough. So all right. let's put, so it, let's put, put, turn it back on and let's add a little more water. Okay. Maybe like half of what's left. There you go. Alrighty. You see now it's really starting to pull away from the bowl real yeah, good. Yeah, slip and slide. Okay, so now once you get to this state, what you want to do is you actually want to let the dough mix for about three to four minutes. So we're going to just leave it here for about three or four minutes? Yeah, let's leave that there and let that, and then okay. what we're going to do in the meantime while okay. that's mixing is we're going to mix our dill. No. We're going to make a little dill cream cheese. Just, just, to, uh, just to show the folks at home, it's eventually going to come out like this. That's correct. Right? Okay. That's correct. One, be the one, dough we use. That's right. Once the dough is completely mixed, you want to remove it from the bowl, put it in another bowl, and then cover it and let it proof. Okay. Okay. And Alrighty. then actually oh, sorry. it's okay. Once once it's proofed, what you want to do is take it out of the bowl mm -hmm. and, and punch it down. Okay. Okay, and what I mean by that is oh. just work the dough and just punch it down a little bit. Okay. Let me give it a so shot. So go here. ahead. Why don't you do that? Perfect. <laughs> okay. No, perfect. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to take the dough and just kind of form it into one big ball. Ah. Just. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now let's put it in this bowl here. All right. And then what you would do is let it proof one more time. Oh, okay. You actually want to let the dough proof twice. Let it rise up okay. there a little no. bit more? When, it, when the dough rises, you actually want to punch it down again, okay. and then you're ready to portion it out. Oh, okay, great, great. Perfect. And now we have cream cheese That's over right. here. This and this is, is going to go on our um, smoked duck and goat cheese um, no, this is, right? this is No, this no? is actually going to go with the smoked salmon uh, and the trout. I got it. Or the, uh, okay. trout, the trout caviar. Okay, fantastic. So why don't you go ahead and mix that up. Yeah. You have a little fresh cream cheese. Okay. About a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of uh, fresh chopped dill. All Go ahead right. And mix that up. When we come back, we're going to learn how to grill our pizzettas. Carolina cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Hi, welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with Chef Boyer from the Biltmore Estate, and we have portioned up our dough to two little, small, what, about four ounce? They, that's right, they're about four ounces, Tom. Okay. And what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil. This is the best way that I found to work with a dough. So we're gonna try and make it nice and easy for you. Just take just take a little uh, a little dollop of this, okay. this extra virgin olive oil, All or right. salad oil at home is fine too. And then put your dough on top. Do we need to spread it around? No, just, no. Oh, the, okay. the dough will take care of that All itself. Right. Just and what you want to do, just set your dough on top and uh -huh. then start, just start pushing down and pressing until you get it all rolled out. Okay. Or basically until the dough is nice and flat or, or the desired, uh, desired consistency that you're looking for. All righty. You know. I like them nice and flat because they get a little... They get nice and crisp once you put them on the grill. Oh, okay. So. All right. We're actually grilling these. That's correct. Okay. And if I was at home and didn't want to fire up the old barbecue outside, what would I do then? Well, you, you could par bake them in the oven and then put your ingredients on them. Um, I just like them on the, on the grill because with the olive oil in the dough, you really get a nice crispness and you get a nice flavor from the grill as well. But you can certainly uh, put these in the oven and, um, and, and par bake them and then top them with your ingredients. So that, that looks pretty good. Really? Nice job, yeah. It doesn't quite go all the way to the edges like nice yours job. does. Well, you, you got to keep working it, you know. It's, oh. uh, all right. Dough is very glutinous, so it's, it's, it has a tendency to, uh, to pull back on you, re resist a little bit. So. All right. All right, I think that's perfect. Let's, what do you say we put these on the grill? The holes here, are they okay? Yeah, that, that's fine. I'm going to mm. brush mine with just a touch of olive oil. You want to do the same to yours? Sure. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. See and a nice fresh garlic in there. That yeah, looks good. Yeah, I've got a one piece All right, right here we go. We're going to take these over to our grill and then okay. just set them on our grill like that. 
Press them down a little bit. Okay. So you get those nice marks. And then once it starts to cook, you'll yep. be able to pull the pan off. Don't don't try to pull the pan off too early okay. because then it, then it's going to tear the dough. Okay. All righty. And this just takes, we, how long are we leaving them on here for? Uh, this will about, take about a minute on a nice hot grill. You don't want it too okay. hot because you don't want the dough to burn. Yeah. Really what you want to do is just mark it. All righty. And how do we get them up? Okay, well, you gotta let them cook. Okay. When, once they, uh, we need a little more heat here. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now let's get that, let's get that grill nice and hot and then we're gonna give them a minute. Okay. And then we'll, well let's go ahead and, and if we can make the uh, topping here and let them, absolutely. Uh, let them sit. What are we doing Perfect. for topping? Well, what we're gonna do for the duck pizzetta is make a little olive puree. Okay. So here I have about a quarter to a half a cup of uh, Kalamata olives. Okay. Calama, cal, cal, Calamata olives. Okay. It's just an Italian olive pit. Okay. All right. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil to that. Just a little? Yeah, about a quarter cup. Okay. Well, well add the whole thing. That, okay. It's about a quarter cup there. All right. So can add do the that. whole thing in there. All right. And, and then go ahead and blend her up. Just let it blend it up till the puree is real nice. Okay. All right. Let that go. Let's check on our pizzas. All right. All righty. Yeah, I think I think we're ready to flip. Okay. Our, gr our grill was nice and hot. Ooh, oh, that look looks that. beautiful. That's go ahead nice. and flip yours. Okay. Alrighty. And how long does the other side take? Perfect. Well, it'll take about 30 to 40 more seconds. And okay. then we're and then we're ready to uh, then we're ready to spread. Why don't we right. why don't we take our olive olives out of there? I think we're good. Okay. Okay. And we're just and looking to get a, a paste here. That's correct. That's okay. perfect. That's a nice smooth paste. It's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, right, perfect. Like that. And then we're also gonna be using um, uh, some of the Duck? That's right, smoked okay. duck breast. We right. have a little goat cheese. Okay. A little uh, estate raised uh, tomatoes. Estate, like from the Biltmore. From the Biltmore okay. estate, that's correct. Alrighty, fantastic, okay. So, so what we're gonna do, mm -hmm. is we're gonna take our pizzettas off the dough, okay. off the grill, I think they're ready. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, that's perfect, that looks beautiful. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull yours off. Alright. And you want yours too? Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty. Oh, so that's pretty easy. Absolutely. So what we need to do first yep. is we need to put the duck peas in it together first because we're okay. going to put that in the oven just to melt the cheese and warm the duck a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. Hang on one second. Just set that there. And, and so to start, let's take a little bit of the olive puree. Okay. And rub that on the bottom of our rub or on, on the, the bottom. on the top of our okay. uh, pizzetta. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Ooh, purple. All right. Nice fresh olive puree. Okay. Do I have to stay away from the edges? Or is that ah, fine? you don't need. I mean, okay. you know, as long bloppy. as you don't want to get olives all over your fingers, I you know. I understand. So yeah. Okay. It's, it's at your discretion. Whatever you like. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Let's let's top that with some fresh uh, smoked duck. From fresh smoked duck. Fresh okay. Smoked duck if breast. I if I don't have smoked duck, can I use? Uh, you can, what you, would be you the could next? You could use pulled roasted chicken. You could use lamb. Okay. Uh, you could use beef. All you right. could use uh, shrimp. Whatever whatever okay. you like, really. Tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> These look good. Yeah, those are nice, huh? Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right, now we're going to take a little bit of this goat cheese, and we're just going to crumble it crumble it on top of the pizzetta. Oh, okay. Here, grab, All right, grab a chunk right there. All right. And just little crumbles like this, yes, right? Absolutely perfect. Just okay. like that. Boom. All right, all done. And, and then there we're we gonna, go. Perfect. Okay. Let's, let's put that in the oven, 350 degrees. Oh, okay. All righty, this Open one right here. You. There you go. Thank you very much. We're just setting it on the, uh, the what is that, a cake pan? Yep, just the back side of a cake All pan. Right. We're going to leave that in the oven for about uh, three to four minutes and let that crisp up and get warm. Okay. Okay. And then uh, our cream cheese and dill goes on this with That's the correct. salmon to make That's the correct. hors d'oeuvre. Okay. So just spread the cream cheese across the top. Yep, just take a little bit of that uh, softened cream cheese, okay. spread that on top. All right. Okay. And then, I mean, the nice thing about these is, Again, you can you can have fun with the family making pizzas. Yeah. Um, you can you can make make a an hors d'oeuvre out of it for a cocktail party, and the nice thing about the dough is it freezes really well. Really? Okay. Yeah. So if you wanted to portion portion out the dough, roll them into balls and wrap them in plastic wrap and put them in the freezer, you could just pull them out, you know, about an hour before you wanted to uh, to start cooking. And salmon? So, absolutely. Let's grab okay. the smoked salmon. We're gonna lay lay the smoked salmon on top. All right, and when we come back, we're going to be talking to Eris Ragazais and find out which wine he is paired with uh, our pizzettas. When Carolina Cooking continues. Just like this yeah, right here? Yeah, just keep laying it on top. Maybe right. a couple this way. Okay. So that, so that you fill out the whole piece. Oh, I gotcha. Okay.
You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, The Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find The Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with our wine expert, Eris Ragazeus, and we are in the wine cellar of the 700 Kitchen Cooking School. And Eris, we've made pizzettas, we've made smoked duck, and we've also made one that's kind of an appetizer, salmon, kind of a hors d'oeuvre for a party. What, what wine did you pair with that one? My favorite hors d'oeuvre wine. Okay. It's sparkling wine. Mm. This one comes from the Biltmore Estate, and it says Blanc de Blanc on the label, mm -hmm. which means white from white, which... Mm -hmm. Means it's made 100% from white grapes, in this case, Chardonnay. Okay. It also says Method Champenoise. Whoa. Ooh. That wasn't supposed to happen, but oh. I think it's going to taste good. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. They and can't say Champagne on the label. Why not? Uh, because it's not made in Champagne, France. I gotcha. Okay. But All they can right. say Method Champenoise to say that it's made by the classic Champagne method. Okay. Alrighty. Got some bubbles in mind. Good, good small bubbles. Hmm. Very sweet, good, I like it. Very, like very it. explosive yeah. on the palate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you've got a lot more going on in there than just duck. Well, we do have duck, we have tomatoes, we have some goat cheese, we have uh, arugula. I picked my favorite all-around grape variety. Mm -hmm. Well, one, uh, one of my two favorites anyway, and that's Sangiovese. Okay. That typically comes from Chianti region oh. in the Tuscany, but this one comes from uh, America. The grapes oh. come from California, made by Biltmore. Okay. One of my favorite all-around versatile red wines. It should go with the with that wild combination you've got in there. Mm, yeah, it would uh, it would complement the duck, I'm sure. It would also complement the, the cheese other flavors in the there. The tomato. Mm -hmm. All of those things basically say red wine, but you don't want a big, fat, rich California cabernet yeah. or something like yeah. that. You want something a little bit milder. The Sangiovese is a sort of medium-bodied wine, very spicy. Okay. And it'll go great with that. All right, well, I, uh, speaking of that, I've got to get my Bazetta out of the okay. oven, so I'll be doing that when Carolina Cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, The Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find The Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. Well, our smoked duck bazetta is ready in the oven, right? Yep, All finished pull, up? Let's, let's pull it off. All righty, great. Here we go. And get the little bottom there. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Nice and hot. Look at that. Ooh. Steaming. Beautiful. All right. We're just going to slide it here. And then what are we putting on top of that? Well, what we're going to do, Tom, is we're going to finish this. We're going to brush it with a little bit of olive Sorry. oil. Yep. A little so, olive oil. So go ahead and grab that uh, extra virgin olive oil over okay. there. Perfect. Just drizzle, Just drizzle, drizzle it. it. Yeah, perfect. Just right. Drizzle a little fresh olive oil. Then we also have a little estate-grown uh, arugula and a little estate-grown basil. And these are grown in the gardens that, uh, there. Yeah, yeah. We have an amazing team that, that grows us a ton of vegetables, herbs, lettuces this, at the estate. Absolutely. This is arugula. That's arugula. Okay. Yes, sir. So just put it down there. Yeah, we're just gonna put a few, uh, few pieces of fresh arugula. Okay. And then a few pieces of fresh basil to finish it. All perfect. right. And then we'll call this one done. This would be the basil right here. That's right. Mm. And then you can cut it up however you like, mm. obviously. That smells very good. What we usually do, this is on our menu at the end uh, on the estate. Oh. And what we usually do is we cut it into four sections ah. to serve it, to okay. finish it, yeah. Yeah, I was sitting there thinking, how am I gonna eat this? Absolutely. All right. Beautiful. <clears throat> so, like that, and then uh, like this. Excellent, All excellent. Right. And that's goat cheese on there, too. Yeah, a little right? fresh goat cheese. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, for let, let, let me show you a little technique. All righty. A little technique, maybe just slide this, slide your knife underneath sure. and then lift it up and then ah, put it on the plate. There you go. So you much know easier than the old dropping it all over perfect. the counter. And excellent, it excellent, on. perfect. Yep. What, okay. do you say we, what do you say we finish our smoked salmon? Yeah, absolutely. So what are we putting on top of this? Now, to, to finish this, what we're going to do is we're going to trim the edges first. We're going to square it off. So why don't okay. you go ahead and do that? Sure. Just cut them... Yeah, absolutely, just like that. That? Yeah. And then do just Square that it off, one. perfect. Okay. And then what we'll do once you finish trimming it is we're going to cut them into about one inch squares or, or bite size, finger, finger okay. food. All righty. Okay, perfect. Two. Excellent, excellent. Three. I have and then what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to top each square with a little uh, mountain trout caviar. 
uh -huh. a little fresh dill. Oh, okay. Makes a perfect, perfect uh, cocktail reception hors d'oeuvre. So. Alrighty. So we'll take a little bit of that uh, trout caviar. This is trout caviar. Absolutely. And what I think we're going to do here is we're going to have, you know those restaurants where they just put like one thing exactly. on the plate? Exactly. We'll be one of those places. <laughs> you know, and then everybody's like, hey. Right. I'm spending $200 for this one little thing. Here, we'll give them there two. There you go, perfect. There yep. we go. Oh, got some of the trout there. That's a, that's there a perfect go. little hors d'oeuvre for, again, a cocktail reception. Absolutely. Well, yeah, for the smoked trout, we've picked a uh, red wine here. Uh, and this is our um, uh, red that uh, Eris has uh, mentioned. And then we have a sparkling white. To go and, with the salmon. Uh, to go with the salmon, because if you're at a party, you'd have a little sparkling white going around the room. And so I'll give you a glass of Perfect. that Thank as you. well. And I will uh, give a try of the smoked duck here. And if you want to see how our salmon's turned out, Absolutely. you're welcome to give that a try too. Mm. Very good. Very good. Find out more about the wines, the recipe here, Chef Boyer, or the Biltmore State, visit our website at www.carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Zelenka, and that's Carolina Cooking. Cheers, thank you.